Welcome back to the show. Joining us in the studio from the Vail Police Department, she is one of four records technicians, Martha Valenzuela. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming in today. Thank you so much for having me. How have you been? Been good. Been very good. Yeah. You have a busy job, I'm sure. You're a records technician, so it sounds like, to me that sounds like you don't get out and enjoy the outdoors too often. <laughs> You're kind of sitting at the desk doing, doing your due diligence on this information. What is it yes. all about that you do? Um, you know, we handle a lot of different tasks um, in records. A lot of the records role is approving reports that are coming in from officers and making sure they're ready to go, whether they go to the DA's office or they go to the Department of Revenue. We also have additional tasks like fingerprinting, um, you know, um, helping with ordinances and counter customer service roles so we, we a juggle a lot of hats so are you a face that you'd walk if we walked into the Vail police department would you be there would we see you yes okay good. <laughs> i would be there so today we're talking about mm -hmm. one of your ordinances and it's the Vail transportation ordinance correct correct yes and tell us what that's all about okay so the Vail transportation ordinance was started in 2012 and what it does it's it's a permitting system that helps the town regulate the shuttles that are coming in the taxis and the buses it alleviates you know, congestion and staging at drop-off zones in the Vail Core as well as in Lion's Head. So. And it seems like most of the drop-offs that we see in the mm -hmm. buses are at the Vail Transportation Center, but mm -hmm. there are times when mm -hmm. you see vehicles in the village itself that you wonder if they're supposed to be there or not, right? Correct. And, and some are and some aren't. Correct. And this helps, you know, that part of it. Um, you know, we definitely have an area at Checkpoint Charlie that for vehicles that are entering and that the area itself in Lion's Head and Vale is, you know, monitored, but this he helps keep track of the vehicles that are coming to drop off passengers. Right. Um, it also assures their safety because um, the transportation ordinance does require that they have valid insurance as well as comprehensive liability, automotive insurance. Um, and workman's compensation. So it's also for the passenger's safety if anything were to happen. And there's usually, I mean, when, when you have, when there's cars dropping people off mm -hmm. in the middle of the village um, on those busy days when there's hundreds of people walking mm -hmm. around at any given time, mm -hmm. it can be dangerous. So it can be. that's why these rules are in place, correct? Most definitely. And the season is just starting again, <laughs> so the transportation ordinance starts November 1st and goes through October 31st. Okay. So we are calling out to all of the transportation companies, so limos, shuttles, buses, um, to come by and fill out an application, provide us with their, gen their um, certificate of liability, and each parking permit is per vehicle. It's $50 for in-county vehicles and $25 for out-of-county vehicles. And do you get a lot of new a uh, lot of new vehicles every year or is a lot of the same people just repeating the process? A lot of them are repeat customers yeah. but it, it, it has grown significantly even just in the past year I think we had 20 additional companies that registered with us. Um, some of them are new companies and some, some of the companies um, you know, close and right. so new ones start up, but um, it has grown over the years. Martha, thanks for coming in today. Thank nice you to so meet you. Much. You guys do a great job me. there. 970 right. 479 2200 is the number uh, for the Vail Police Department in that area. You can also go to the website, vailgov.com backslash commercial permits. Correct. We've got more coming up on the show. I've got a weather report and we're going to have some cooking in the kitchen real soon. We'll be right back.